what's good youtube welcome back to guys in the mo and today boys i'm about to show y'all the best man coverage defense y'all boys need to be running right now in match 24 now before we get into it make sure y'all boys hit that like button comment down below all right boys comment down below if this scheme works for y'all i know it will because it worked against me and it worked for me okay and hit that sub button boys on the road to 11k okay boys let's get into it so right here we are in the multiple d defensive playbook but you can find this in kansas city or 3-3 and the first scheme i want to show y'all is the dollar three two but okay boys i always tell y'all boys make sure y'all have no fast if you have fast dbs that's very good okay i recommend having fast dbs up top right here and these two spots have fast dbs dbs if you don't have like no five or six fast dbs just make sure you have uh at least a db with deep out zone on either one of these two or on both so deep out zone on at the top of up here if you don't have like seven to eight fast dbs which you know a lot of teams probably don't so like deep out zone ko up here will help this defense a lot better okay now what you want to do is make sure you go to your coach adjustments have buy speed and off and the option defense on conservative because a lot of people are running read options now and i mean you know them like the little one options i'm trying to have an example on the screen where they, where they like kick their feet and like jump in the air and then like pitch it it's, it's bad bro i hate that scheme but if you have it on conservatives you can easily stop that now next thing you want to do is come out and just play cover two man linebacker blitz and, and for this game to be really really good now for this game to be really really good you want to have bottleneck now you might be asking what the heck is that bottleneck is a x factor i don't have it on mine because i don't you know have the ap or whatever this for it but you know, bottleneck on your dbs will basically help it how can i explain it it gives them way better man cover stats like they will run man coverage at an all-time high way better than any other like ability you can put on your db so having bottleneck on your dbs will help if not then get medium route chaos medium route chaos is the way to go boys okay now how you want to run this is simply press okay then press y underneath and what you want to do this is why i say have deep out zone chaos you want to move these guys over move this guy over and press y underneath and if that's RB gets pass. Now, all I got to do is watch the middle of the field. That's literally all you got to do. Just watch right here. Look at this. Like, look at that, bro. Oh, my gosh. It's the CPU. I can't I can't do nothing against the CPU. But that catch is not get, happening uh, online. Like, we know that's, that catch is not happening. But watch right here. He goes. He gets beat initially. Now, imagine if you have medium route KO or bottleneck or both abilities. Look right here. That's easy to knock out if I had either one. If not, you're still good because this is a, a fast DB. So he's not, even though he gets beats off the press, I have my deep out zone and he can basically, you know, recover because he is the same speed as him, 99 speed. Also, let me go ahead and call. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let me call a timeout so I can find a different place that's like basically in the middle of the field. So let me go ahead and uh, let me see. I'll play right here, double slant spot. Now, what you want to do is go ahead and press, but this time you're going to run the over the um over top scheme. Now, what that is, you just basically just press Y over top, and basically what that does is it allows you to put these two guys in different zones besides deep zones. So like I can put this guy in a uh, curl flat to help with the corner out, and then put this guy like in a hook curl or in the middle third, something like this, and move him over like right here, something a little bit different, and then press RB guest pass. And that's all you want to do. That's literally all y'all boys want to do. Watch, watch it right here. Oh, shit, I'm stuck. Okay, yeah, he gets, hey, if that happens, if that happens right there, that's a perfect example. And that's what I wanted to see if that happens. So I'm going to show y'all what to do. Go ahead and press again. Run the same little scheme. I mean, the same thing I just showed y'all boys. But what you're going to do is do Y over top. And then you want to individually shade that guy that got beat. So I don't even know who that is. Who is that? I think that's Mark Emerson. Uh, you want to press Y, then A, then press X, and then shade right. So therefore, that slant, he might still get open. But it's going to be very, very tough for him off the line to get open. Because you're automatically just running to the right this time. So watch right here. I'm going to run with my user. And I'm there. Even though you you see he did get beat but my users there because i know he can get beat off the press and it's just enough time for him to recover or me get an interception that's literally what y'all boys want so watch right here boom yeah i see my users right there and look at the over top scheme like look at this bro the curl route doesn't get open the, this right here this is a uh what is this called um a corner route i do have a curl flat 
and I have uh, my guy on him. So over top, cornrows tend to not really get open because of the simple fact that you're, you know, you're shading over top. It's takeaway streaks, all that good stuff. Now, the next game y'all can run is a little bit, you know, it's kind of risky, but it's really, really good. Is the 15 to 20 to 20 to 25 curl flat scheme. So basically, how that is, you just run tw or not. Actually, no, no, not this one. We're gonna do this one. This one is really toxic, and it can it can work. Sometimes it doesn't work, but if you put your flats on 25 or, or actually i'm gonna put them on 20 i'm gonna put them on 20 and you're gonna run a cover to man line, linebacker blitz and what you're gonna do i'm gonna show y'all boys hold on let me put my deep out zone kills on the field uh cover two man linebacker blitz i'm gonna show y'all boys why this scheme is so toxic and this is a scheme i really hate playing against but you know people do it so what you want to do is go ahead and press press y underneath and you just want to put these guys in curl flats. Basically, put them both in curl flats like this. But after you put them in curl flats, you're going to press Y underneath. Okay. And basically, they said it says hard flats, but basically they are um they are uh cloud flats. Basically, because of the simple fact they're 25 yard flats. RB gets pass once again. Just watch the field. Watch the field. Watch the field. Nothing's open. Literally, nothing's open. And this is a defense I hate playing against, especially when they have bottleneck medium route KO. Just look right here, boys. Look at this, bro. Look at this. Now he gets beast off the press. Remember I told y'all that underneath. And look at the look at the hard flat playing the twenty five yarder. Now look at this one playing the uh, twenty five yarder. And then you know what you know, and you know what's really like toxic about this defense. Say you do run this right. Say you do run this defense. And what tends to happen is some people, they're like, okay, the middle of the field is wide open. So what people will do is put this Y guy in the inside third and they press RB gas pass. The, basically, if they try to run like a post, it will throw them off and they will throw an interception. And why I'm saying they will, I'm talking about myself because I have done it many, many times. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I have done it pretty, a, a lot of times thinking the middle of the field is wide open, but the, at the same time, they put a middle third and then I'm cooked. So make sure y'all boys like, comment, and subscribe. Go follow me on Twitch. Link in the description. And I'll see y'all boys in the next video. Peace.